In this video, you will learn 11 plus verbal reasoning type 18, find the odd words out. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have been given five words. Three of these words are related to each other but two of them are different. Our job is to find the two different words. So in our case, we have fuming, content, angry, furious, and joyful. As you guys could see, all five of these words are emotions. Fuming means when you're angry. For this, let's highlight this red. Let's move on to the next one, which is content. Content is when you're happy. So let's highlight this green. Let's move on to the next one, which is angry. Angry is pretty self-explanatory. So let's just color this red. Let's move on to the next one, which is furious. Furious is linked to angry. So let's once again color this red. And let's move on to the final one, which is joyful. In terms of joyful, let's color this green because it means happy. So we're left with fuming, angry, and furious. It is when you feel angry, but content and joyful, that's when you feel happy. So this means our odd words out for this question is content and joyful. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at this example. And the words we have are sprint, sailing, hurdles, canoeing, and relay. Sprint is a track and field sport. So let's highlight this red and let's move on to sailing. Sailing is a water sport. So let's highlight this green. So highlight this green. Let's move on to hurdles. Hurdles is once again a track and field sport. So I highlight this red. And move on to the next one, which is canoeing. Canoeing is a water sport, just like sailing. So highlight this green. Let's move to our final word, which is relay. Relay is obviously a track and field activity. So highlight this red. So after you've done it, we notice that sailing or canoeing, they're both water sport and there are only two ones left of that category. But if you look at sprints, hurdles and relay, there is three of them. So this means our odd words out for this example are sailing and canoeing. I hope you guys understood everything. Now to learn more on verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.